Hey Scorpio, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general reading for your next five days. Any information you need, you can find it within the description box down below. We are going to go ahead and get started here for you, Scorpio, and see what we get for you. What's going on for Scorpio the next five days? <clears throat> next five days for Scorpio. Okay, so you have the Six of Pentacles you're starting off with here. Some of you could have your Moon in Taurus, <coughs> excuse me, or your Moon in Libra. There could be some information coming in about money or money is given to you. What's going on with the Six of Pentacles? Some of you, you are owed something and you're, uh, someone's paying that back to you or vice versa. What's going on with the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio? <coughs> Six of Pentacles for Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Oh my goodness, and Ten of Cups, yeah. And you know, you do have some cards out here that represent um, a little bit of a tough time. You have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, you have the Nine of Swords here as well, which can be grief, anxiety, stress. But these two cards here, yeah, I definitely feel as if that's going to override any of this energy right here. I also feel that with the Six of Swords being here, these could be energies you're moving out of. So I love that Ten of Pentacles. It's the best money card in the deck. Ten of Cups can represent how you define happiness on a personal level. So I feel like the next five days um, are going to be really positive for you. You have the Two of Pentacles right here. So somebody could have Jupiter in Capricorn. I think that you guys have been in a space where you've been having to move money around or having to borrow money, something like that. What's going on with the Two of Pentacles? Some of you, you could have been juggling two jobs. You're able to, oh goodness, sorry, able to quit one. I feel like you're able to drop some kind of responsibility that was really weighing on you, stressing your, stressing you out. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have the eight of wands showing up right here. Some of you have some travel coming up. What else? Or there's just a lot of busy energy. There's fast movement to get something done. Some of you to hit a deadline of some sort. Ace of Swords, and some kind of message comes in, okay, that I do feel will move you forward. You have the Six of Swords right here. Like I said, some of you, there could definitely be some travel in the next uh, five days here. What's going on with the Six of Swords? Six of Swords for Scorpio. I absolutely love that Ten of Pentacles and that Ten of Cups. Um, even the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords, like Eight of Wands can be messaging. Lots of messages coming in. If you have a business, you could have, you could be getting a lot of clients, okay? What's going on with the Six of Swords? Strength and Queen of Swords. Some of you, you are finally finding the courage to move on from this Leo or this air sign here. Um, others of you, I do feel as if this is a um, this is a comeback after a setback with that Queen of Swords energy. I think you finally figured out the path that you want to go down after a really, really tough time, Scorpio. You have the Nine of Swords here. What's going on with the Nine? Okay. Nine of Swords. Yeah, that only further confirms to me that this was something that was really stressful for you. I do think it's coming back up within the next five days, but it feels like it's coming up for the final time here. Okay. Nines are like wrapping something up. And you have the Ace of Swords here. That's completion. Three of Cups. It's like there is this sigh of relief that you're able to let this go here. Um, but with that Queen of Swords, I feel like you're in the Nine of Swords energy here as well. I think your perception has been kind of skewed because of somebody that you were involved with. Yeah, the moon, there was there was just a lot that you didn't know. And you may have felt like this was your person because, you know, you were comfortable with them or they stuck it out through some kind of tough time with you. But I feel like they played a big role in the tough time, okay? And you have the Six of Swords right here. Some of you, there's been some deception here that you're finally moving on from, finally gaining financial stability again. So I do like that for you a lot here Scorpio we also have a page of cups so let's look at that three of cups though whatever was going on in that nine of swords like you are getting away from that moving towards this ten of pentacles ten of cups just wait for it okay just wait for it page of cups could be some good news coming in this could also be a conversation between you and a water sign here what's going on with the page of cups for Scorpio in the next five days Page of Cups for Scorpio in the next five days. Now, some of you, 
um, you probably can't see this, but if you look up the Page of Cups in the Rider Waite deck, you can see it. There's a fish um, jumping up out of the cup here. I feel like you guys could be in a situation, or you could have been in a situation where you felt like something was slipping away. That Ten of Pentacles was slipping away, or that Ten of Cups was slipping away. And I feel like a lot of you, it's due to that Nine of Swords energy. Some of you, you're going to meet with somebody here. With Strength and the Queen of Swords, this could be a doctor, a healthcare professional that could be helping you out with that Nine of Swords energy, and there's some progress within that for some of you where it wasn't, uh, where the root cause wasn't a toxic connection. Um, I feel like you could be meeting with someone who is helping you through that, advising you through that. What's going on with that Page of Swords? But it's not lost. You know, whatever that fish is that you're afraid of jumping out of the cup, it's not lost. You've still got it here. What's going on with the Page of Cups? Knight of Swords. We got Gemini energy here. Things are going to start moving faster for you. Absolutely. Yeah, you have the Sun card. Literally the happiest card in the deck. Leo energy. And new things are going to start happening. I do feel that something could be speeding up with a fellow water sign or a Leo here. If you guys have gotten involved with um, any of those signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, something could be revealed about a Gemini or a Leo as well within the next five days. But I do feel that this is mainly positive things happening after a lot of reflection here. You have the Three of Swords, the Hermit, the Death card. So I think you guys have been going through that Nine of Swords energy for quite some time now, trying to find some kind of change, transformation, make sense of things, make sense of other people and their, uh, you know, their choices, the way that they have chosen to treat you. Um, you know, make sense of yourself after the fact, right? Because pain does change us. Heartbreak changes us. And I think that's something that you have been trying to get clear about. Like, who, who am I after that, you know? And for some of you, you have kind of stayed in this Three of Swords energy. You've stayed in a situation that's left you heartbroken. And now you're finally finding the courage to leave that situation and go towards something new. And what you find is going to be incredibly positive. Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. If you don't know tarot, look up the meanings of those cards, okay? Because it's really good for finances. It's really good for emotional fulfillment. Um, those are two of the best cards you can get. And the Sun card, in my opinion, is the absolute best you can get, Scorpio. So I love it. Love to see it, actually. So um, I hope you all will watch out for your other signs. Uh, I also read on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I have another channel as well. It's not a tarot channel. It's just guidance-based content, but if you're interested, there are links down below. Uh, if this is where we part, Scorpio, thank you so much for watching this far. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.